Good morning, welcome to a turn two on Tuesday the 14th of January. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. Okay, looking at the Euro dollar, yesterday we, we came down, we hit my target figure. Today I don't actually have a specific intraday target figure to be looking for a, it reaching. Um, I'm just looking really now, it's already pulled back quite well, most, most of yesterday's move. Uh, it's effectively just consolidating over a very small period when you look at this four hour chart. It really, if it, it starts breaking down yesterday's lows, well, we, we have got a potential support area around about 136.25. may just want to come back and test that sort of level. Now, if it does get a, a, a turn on this morning and it breaks these highs, well, the obvious area then is back up to at least the 137 and most likely the 137.31 back up towards the monthly pivot there. As a I mean, as I said yesterday, it's got clear air above us, so no, there's nothing there to... Uh, uh, no resistance above us. Uh, to the downside, there's plenty of support areas which it may be on the test. One thing I did say yesterday is is that uh, the four hourly 50 and a lot of the uh, moving averages are still facing southward or downwards, which uh, when price does tend to hit those, it has less support or quite often. Okay, um, looking then at the pound dollar. I do have a downside target for the uh, pound dollar. Oh, sorry, an upside target for the pound dollar of 164, uh, 164.13. So if it were to, uh, so it's around about here somewhere. Um, so if it were to uh, get some purchase and a bit of support somewhere, there is potential for it to uh, move back uh, towards that sort of area. Um, at the moment, though, it's, it's selling. It's been selling off this morning quite a bit. But as I say, yeah, if it does find support uh, and and starts reversing, that would be a target area and a good a good area to be holding a position for. Uh, in the short term, though, if it does break yesterday's lows, um, it's then uh, got last week's lows there to uh, contend with. Uh, the way it's coming down and this sort of the big move we're seeing here one two it looks really like it's in a third corrective wave and may want to correct some more so um, I hint towards the bearish side but I would have liked to have seen this uh, intraday target hit first okay that's it for me uh, old key news today we've got the uh, CPI the consumer price index coming out just literally for UK so that's the main figure coming out which uh, it may affect the pound uh, if it were to be significantly different to expectation. Okay, that's it for me. Have a great day. Bye for now.